Hello everyone, this is Coach Dinosaur. Today, I'm going to show you what is pawn and how does a pawn move. Pawn is called soldier or infantry. It has the most number of pieces in a chess game. From here, there are 8 pawns, 8 white pawns, and 8 black pawns. It has a value of one point, so this is the weakest among the character or chess pieces, among chess pieces. So let's start with this. Uh, as the basic rule, white starts first. So a pawn, except on its first move from the starting position, a pawn may only move one square forward at a time and also two moves straight forward so from from this position this pawn can move two steps forward right so it can also move one step at a time but this one cannot move it cannot move three steps or four steps uh, move it can only move one at a time that's that's the very first uh, move of the of the pawn but at the very starting position it can move two steps All right so the pawn can move two steps from its starting position while um while white plays this will black can also play uh two steps forward it can also be moved one step forward right? so it's either here but of course this pawn cannot move diagonally it can only move uh, one step forward or two step forward on its starting position so let's let's have this so we have an alternating move once white moves black moves then after that white moves again and so on and so forth so here after uh, the pawn moves on b5 right so this pawn can move one step at a time because it has already moved and it's not on the starting position it cannot move any more two steps right it's 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 not going to happen and that's not the rules in in using a pawn uh, so but white can also choose to move the other pawns two steps because it has on its starting position it can also move one step the other pawn yep so but of course the rules is touch move that's uh, one basic rule touch move once you touch the piece you have to move it you cannot change your mind to uh, choose another piece or pawn all right so since i touch this i have to move either one step or two steps okay, so let's have that this pawn can move here mm, mm, yeah this we have an alternating uh, move all right so these are the power of pawns now how does a pawn captures all right so from this position it's it's black's turn uh the pawn can capture one step diagonally so this one can capture this or the other side so if black captures this move this pawn can also capture this because one step diagonally forward so black can capture this white can capture this black can capture this white can capture this can you still find any capture this one 
cannot capture because the pawn cannot capture backward. The same as this. This one cannot capture backward. Right. So only the black pawn can move forward because we we can't see any other captures here from this position. So let's start. Yep. Yeah, so the move uh, until it goes down, right? It goes down the pawn. So it's just an alternating move, right? So white stern, black stern, white stern, black stern, white stern, black stern, white stern, black stern, uh, white stern. Now, wait a minute. What if the pawn reaches the, the end rank? The last rank of the opponent's side. So the uh, the white pieces reaches the eighth rank, which is on the eighth, and the black has reached uh, the first rank of white. So what will happen to the pawn or pawns? All right. So from this position, it's black's turn. So this pawn. Once it reaches, you can choose, you know, when the pawn, the same as a child. When a child uh, becomes three years old and now become uh, f five years old, ten years old, it becomes adult when it reaches 20, 20 years old. The same goes with the pawn. So, the pawn can choose bishop knight rook or queen but it cannot be a king because there's only one uh, most important piece in a chess game uh, so the purpose once the king is checkmated then it's it's an end game it's already on its end but from here white of uh, the black pawn can only choose Four characters, the queen, rook, bishop, and knight. So here, um, usually we, we will choose always the queen because it has a value of nine points. The rook has five points. Bishop has three points. Knight has three points. Eventually, you will use queen. But in some instances, you can also rook, bishop, knight, in a strategy if you would like to win in in such an end game strategy or some tactics or to prevent stalemate or to win the game but here there's no doubt i will choose a queen so just the same when white reaches the last rank he can also choose queen rook bishop and knight so eventually, I will choose also queen because it has a value of uh, 9 points. Now, another one. We can also choose the rook. We can also choose the rook here. This is just sample, but most of the time, we will choose queen, of course. So it reaches. You can use the bishop. You can use the knight. Uh, wow, it's... it's it's just a strategy of how you can use your pawn to be promoted. So the pawn, it has one point. At the same time, it can also be promoted to nine points, five points, three points. The queen, rook, bishop, or knight. All right, so, yep, you have two queens. So meaning to say, in a chess game, if your pawns have not been captured by your opponent you can make or create nine queens in in a game but uh, it's really an impossible unless the opponent does not capture any of your pieces so this is how uh, the pawn moves and what it can become so we will see again we have to summarize 
on its starting position, the pawn can only uh, move one step or two steps. Right. And it's an alternating move. Right. Once you touch the piece, you, you can't choose any other piece. So it's either here or there. Unless you touch this pawn and there's no other way to move this pawn, then eventually you can choose other pawns. So if I move here, so the strategy is you don't let your pawn capture your pawn. You don't, you don't let your opponent capture your pawn. So from here, this is now a bad move. Why? Because this pawn can capture. Then he gains one point. Then if you move this, for example, this pawn can be captured. But eventually, the strategy, this pawn can, can be pushed. So that this pawn can become a queen, a bishop. A rook or a knight so from this position we will not push this pawn we will um, try um, this pawn move okay so black will play again now this can be a possible move because if this pawn captures the other pawn can capture back the lost pawn so you lose one point and you also win one point. So it's just equal. Alright. So it's just the same. This is a bad move. Why? Because, you're right, this pawn can capture the pawn. Alright. Eventually, in this position, black can move this. And now, this pawn, is this good? What do you think? Yes, it is good. Because if pawn captures, you lose one point, but you win also one point. So now the strategy, this is a bad move. Why? Because this pawn can capture back. Right? So it's just, uh, it's just a strategy to win your opponent's uh, game plan. So is this correct? Yes, because if pawn captures, you lose a point, but you win a pawn also, one point. So here we go. Right. Yes. So the black pawn on the E file becomes queen, and it's black's turn, and. In the later part of this video, in my YouTube channel, you can uh, know how does a queen move, right? So it's the most powerful. Eventually, uh, once the queen, once the pawn becomes queen, the black queen can capture the white queen, and eventually, with the most powerful piece over the board, black has win the game, has won the game. I hope you enjoy this game on how to move a pawn and how does it captures and some strategy that you can play on over the board. And I hope you like this video. Please subscribe for more videos and press the bell button for giving you a notification when I have my new videos. Thank you for watching.